Assalamualaikum, my name is Muhammad Azim bin Muhammad Fadil. My matric number is 118782 and I'm from Chem A2. Today, I would like to present my individual assignment, which is an investment simulation to analyze the stock portfolio optimization as well as to diversify the risk. In my case, I have chosen five stocks from five different sectors, that is Skin Holdings Berhad, Inari and Matron Berhad, Model Holdings Berhad, MIS Berhad, and Petro Petronas Gas Berhad. The investment starts from January 4th until December 31st of 2021, and at the end of the investment period, we will figure out whether the returns are as my expectations or otherwise. Uh, the portfolio have been weighted 20% each, and the expected return for each portfolio is 10% for Kin, 15% for Inari, 8% for Model, 12% and 15% for MISC and Petrogas, respectively. Based on the one-year historical pr price of each portfolio, here are my expected returns, where it is far below my expectations, but still managed to gain profit from the investment. The KIN portrays the highest expected returns by 0.076 as compared to the other four stocks. Also, the sharp value greater than 1% considered good to investors, and in this case, Kin, Inari, and Muda tend to be such. As for the portfolio optimization, we measure the beta coefficient and its correlation towards cap M, in which describes the relationship between systematic risk and expected returns. The higher the beta, the higher the risk. For example, from the table, 1.47's beta coefficient that represent model, resulting the cap M also become the greatest among all other stocks and indirectly greater expected returns. Besides, we can see that the risk free rate and risk premium remain constant with 3.59 and 3.46 respectively. The next part shows the portfolio beta of the five portfolio. The portfolio beta is 0 0.936 and this indicates that these stocks are less volatile as the ideal beta should be below than one. In other words, these stocks portfolios are less risky. Then, the sharp that evaluate the performance of a portfolio based on the total risk of a portfolio shows 1.213 that means acceptable and good to investors. Uh, the higher the sharp value, the better. While the Jensen Alpha ratio shows uh, a positive value by 6.47712, meaning that the portfolio is earning excess returns. And lastly, the trainer ratio represents 3.46%, typically seen as better than a lower one. This is the efficient frontier graph. As we can see, the graph portrays C curve, uh, which helps investors understand the potential risk and returns in their portfolios. From the graph, it can be seen that the portfolios located at point A, B, C, D, and E, uh, the mean variance criterion demonstrate how portfolio A, C, D, and E, uh, that represent Kin, Moodle, MISC, and Petrogas, are better investment than portfolio B, which is Inari, uh, because portfolio of these stocks provides higher expected returns for a slightly lower amount of risk. And last but not least uh, is the stock investment performance. Within one year period, I managed to gain total of uh, 12,093 ringgit and 40 cents through five stock portfolio, indicates 12% 12, 12 and 12.1% return on investment. Um, the highest gain derived from Inari and the lowest from Petrogas where I lost 374 ringgit from the investment. Even though the profit are below expectations, uh, I managed to get to gain some revenues and minimize risk using the investment portfolio. Uh, that's all from me. Thank you.